weekends during training. What are those? So Saturdays typically go a little something like this. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. You don't know time it. Hey, how rude of me. Good morning, trainees. Good morning. Supposed to wake up yet simultaneously have gone to the bathroom, taken all the sheets off your bed, filled up your water bottle, and have gotten dressed all in a matter of about two seconds. So then we run downstairs, get in formation, and then head out to the PT factory. Four across, fill in! Back to front, hurry up, let's go, let's go! After PT, we head over to the dining facility for breakfast chow. Why are you sitting down with your jacket on? Where's the no? And then once we get back to the dorms, we shower, and then we do dust downs and details, which seems counterproductive to shower and get clean, and then do dust downs and details and get all dirty and sweaty. Now, I don't know about you all, but if this doesn't sound like a relaxing weekend, I I don't know what does. So as you all can tell, Saturdays at BMT are just like a normal duty day. You do PT, you clean, you go to classes, and then a few weeks into BMT, you actually start doing graduation practices, which is awesome, number one, because I love doing drill, and number two, you get to practice what you came there for, which is to graduate. And number three, it is really nice just to be prepared for standing around on graduation day because a lot of people actually pass out, and I mean a lot. This is why they stress for everyone to hydrate because you are literally just standing in the same spot for like an hour. So it is nice to get those practices in to know what to expect once graduation day comes. So let's talk Sundays. On Sundays, you finally get to reel things back just a little bit. You're still gonna wake up at 5.45 in the morning. There's no PT. You do PT every single day of the week and it is so nice to have that break on Sundays. So once you wake up, you're gonna get dressed in the uniform of the day, which at the beginning of BMT is your PT gear. And then once you get issued your OCPs, then your OCPs will be your uniform of the day. Then you're gonna make your bed and then you're gonna head over to breakfast chow. Now something that is also really nice is after about the second week of training, MTIs aren't all up in your business on Sunday. Holy cow, what is taking you so long? Get your jackets off, hurry up, hurry up and sit down and eat. You kind of get that day to yourself once they see that you are adult, you can take care of yourself. Barely. They are gonna leave you alone. Barely. And then they also get a break for themselves as well. Now you do still have a schedule, the dorm chief and the element leaders are in charge of making sure everything gets done. But at the same time, things are still a lot more relaxed and you have more free time to read, write, and mail letters. Now, I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos before, then you have heard of Sandbox, which is the sponsor of today's video. Sandbox is an amazing veteran-owned company that helps your loved ones stay connected throughout your military career. Now, whenever you are in training, everything seems stressful, even the little things. But Sandbox takes that stress away when it comes to sending and receiving letters. Now, when you receive your letter, you are going to get your message. They can even attach a colored photo. You're going to get paper to write back on, a return label, and an envelope. All you have to do is add a stamp. They make it too easy. So be sure to check out Sandbox with the link in the description below. So like I said, things still need to get done. And typically, what the overall majority of time is going to consist of is doing details, studying and doing RLA. RLA is recruit living area. So that is your bed, your lining of your shoes, your locker, the way everything is placed in your locker. And that is what you are going to spend a lot of time just making sure everything is nice and neat and in order. This also consists of clipping all the strings off of all your clothes, making sure you don't have lint on your clothes, things are folded properly. And during the week while you're getting yelled at and having to do so much stuff, there's just not time to catch up and you're always going to fall behind. So it is nice to have specific time on Sundays to just spend getting everything in order. That way when the week starts up and they do inspections, you are already good to go. Now what I loved about Sundays is that you have the opportunity to go to church service. It is absolutely not mandatory, but if you do want to go, they have all sorts of different denominations. So I think that is amazing that they have that opportunity for us. Now another favorite, and this is probably a favorite of everyone, is being able to take longer showers because those rush showers during the week just aren't doing it for me. So it was an absolute dream to have a longer shower on Sundays and typically we took about 30 minutes to shower. Now this was if we were getting everything else done that we needed to do because again dorm chief and element leaders are in charge of the way the schedule works and you do have to do what they say because if you don't then they're going to report to the MTIs and then you're just going to get in trouble later. So 
don't cause any trouble on Sundays. Just do the things that you have to do. Enjoy the free time of not getting yelled at by the MTIs and try not to yell at each other because this is your free day to try and enjoy.